Cora, don't worry. When I want something, I go get it. But I probably won't keep it. What? Ryder. More than likely, you can have him when I'm done. I'm right here, you know? You think I want Ryder? Still here. Would explain the bug up your ass. Okay, I'm done. They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. It's too late for the Exalted. We can't let feelings get in the way. That's what gets me. The Exalted aren't converts. They're Ket. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just... I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. We got this. We're back to back, shoulder to shoulder. Or whatever you like. Nothing phased you, does it? You always bounce back. Smiling that smile. Like you know it's just what I need. You're important to me. Is that so strange? And sweet, too. What's a girl to do? I wish this could fix everything. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the Ket. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. So, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. I still don't think he likes me. That's just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai. <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <laughs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. I can't imagine what he must have gone through. He has scars. That would give you an idea. When Axul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant. Or anything. Except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Axul's not the type to follow orders. And... I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived... His cause has grown. More of a reason to set things straight before they get out of hand. I don't think Axul will listen to you. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home... I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarol who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Tholdir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, you think you'll have kids? Where the heck's that coming from? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while you and Sam were cheating at poker. She's starting the Initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it... We're basically here to spawn. It took you this long to figure that out? I told you. I didn't really think this thing through. But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Oof. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. There are other ways to reproduce. 
It doesn't have to come from a romantic relationship. I guess I could donate DNA or however it works. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gut moved on before I was born. In a way, that sounds like my dad. Well, that's not fair. He kept you close. Made sure you and your sister came here with him. And he died for you. Yes, but the other decisions he made kept him at a distance. That can be just as bad. I see that. Still, without our fathers, we wouldn't be here. They brought us into this world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. <laughs> Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Come on, you're strong. Smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The Exalted are Ket. There must be a way to fix them. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. What? Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. We've barely scratched the surface of what Cat are capable of. The Exalted are new beings. It's more than a transformation, it's a birth. There's no going back. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. And you're taking good care of him. Just remember why you came here too. There is a new alien species on your table. My hands actually shook when I made the first incision. See this bone-like armor? It feels as strong as a Krogan's frontal plate. I'll take your word for it. <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Dark Image Line, AJ Gels, guys. We are back with Mass Effect Andromeda. We're uh, running here throughout the ship, talking to our crewmates. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. We'll figure him out. Pride will get us all killed. This ain't the time for it, kid. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. 
Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you. And everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Well, we, uh, I think that was all the crew. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's something I can collect here. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We're gonna uh, do that thing for Jal. We're gonna head and see uh, Thalder on Havarl. There's uh, there's also something else on Havarl that I wanted to go... Uh, oh, hello. Who's that woman I keep seeing? Um, Nexus. I wanted to go check out there. Steady. You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's complicated, Suvi. Really? We haven't done Kadara on this playthrough yet? Jeez. I'm sorry, I am I am freaking everywhere in, right now. Um, yeah, it, this is what happens when I don't play a game, when I just get distracted and start playing other stuff. It's, it's just, I'm, I'm so easily distracted. I have totally forgot that we are, jeez, we are not, we are still really far back in this Let's Play. Oh, I feel so bad about that. You know, it, real quick, something with with Joel talking um, to Lexi, you know, over that that Ket thing. The whole reversing the exaltation process, we never find anything out about that in this game. The only thing I can think of is if they build this game into a new trilogy, maybe that'll be something. Uh, let me see here. Actually, uh, ba, ba, ba. yeah, I like the chunk of grit. Granted, we're on uh, Havarl and won't ever use it, but man, eh, I like it. I should probably have brought Joel with me. Hmm. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. What was I talking about? Ah, yeah, that's right. Uh, but the whole reversing the exaltation process, we never really talk about. It. We never really find anything out about that in this game. It's like I said. I I, I think if this game is going to be made into a trilogy, which I'm sure a lot of people are going, oh god, no, uh, because again, this game just, uh, fan-wise, has not been extremely well received, I, again, I, I, I stand by it, I don't think it's that bad, I don't think it's as good as it could have been, I, but my expectations weren't shot when I played this, I, I was expecting, me, I was maybe expecting a little bit more, but I wasn't expecting just a drastically different game. This is actually kind of what I was expecting. Um, I wish the shooting was a little better. I, w you know, there, there, there are mechanical things here and there that I wish was better. But mm, overall, I wasn't super disappointed. Uh, like I think a lot of people were. Again, I'm, I'm getting off topic here. Um, but no, I mean, I'm, I'm up for another, uh, for another Mass Effect game. Uh, but granted, they said they were. Um, Bioware, you know, they're they're shelving this title right now. Granted, though, that makes sense because um, wait, is it Bioware right now that's working on Anthem? I'm pretty sure it's Bioware that's working on Anthem. I know it's an EA game because it showed at the EA conference and then it went to. A, I'm sorry. God, I'm, I'm sorry, E3's all running together now. I'm pretty sure Anthem was at, um, was at E3. Or was, um, at the EA conference, it was, um, the, bio, the new Bioware IP. Yeah, that's what it was. I'm supposed to go talk to Addison. Came so close to losing everything. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think the ser we've seen the last of the series. It's just like I said, I think they are, are currently shelving it. Uh, to work on Anthem and some other stuff. Um, I'm, I'm still waiting for the next Dragon Age game. I, I, I want that to be announced. Loved the last one. Do this world justice. It's ethereal. 
Director Addison, I imagine you have concerns that we haven't placed a full outpost? Frankly, it's impressive you weren't covered in vines on landing. Given the planet's significance to the Angara, it's appropriate that we assist, but not place an outpost. And the stability you brought? I received a thank you from Aya. That may be the first time I've heard those words in Andromeda. It's not just about being a good neighbor. Their stability helps us in the long term. Practical and true. Ledgers don't understand that nuance, but I do. Havaral helps. Outpost or not, we're gaining. We need another, but we're gaining. It's promising, and a lot of people have noticed. I still need your voice. Something they can think about instead of an outpost flag. We're still here, still doing important work. Then tell them that. This is Havaral. I didn't find an outpost. I found Angara, and saw a piece of who they are. We're welcome to help here. It's not ours. It's all of ours. I think that makes the whole cluster closer to home. Into the books, Pathfinder. At us now. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the back to the, you know, a, um, hopefully, cogent point. Um, is cogent the right word? Salient? I'm not sure anymore. Vocabulary, why are you failing me? Either way. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if they make another another Mass Effect game, I would expect to see that angle be touched on because, well, I'm not going to spoil the end. I mean, there's, there's some stuff at the end. You'll find out, you know, when we get there. Why does the flashlight sound coming out of my controller? That's weird. Favorite five finger death punch songs. That's it for now. To anybody who wants to bag on me for liking five finger death punch, fuck you. <laughs> All I have to say. If I haven't said it before, Enemies. love metal. Love metal bands. Um, you know, I, I you know I think my uh, was my uh, probably my best friend back in high school, back when he used to play uh, Gears of War. You know, we'd, uh... Jeez, I remember, we did it multiple times. Like, I would, uh... Stay over at his house. We'd, you know, stay up for about 48 hours straight, drinking Mountain Dew and... Playing Gears of War, blaring, uh... Disturbed in the background. It was either that or we played, Del uh, Left 4 Dead. Man, those were the days. But yeah, also, also a pretty big Disturbed fan. I think people brag on that band a lot, you know, I mean, Grant, you know, I mean, everything, oh, Down With The Sickness, and I'm like, well, actually, hey, Down With The Sickness is, I, I actually think Down With The Sickness is a pretty good song, but uh, I, I think everybody forgets uh, just how great their lead singer is, um, I always forget how to pronounce his name, it's Drainman, I think, like I said, I, this is where people are going to bag on me, oh, well, you're a fan of the band, but you can't name the, the members, no, I'm always bad at shit like that. I'm much better at, uh, you know, the band and the songs that they play, as opposed to, jeez, I can't hit him from that distance. Um, for some reason, it's just, I, I do not have a mind for, like, who's in the band, but I l love their work and I can name you all their stuff. One of the few people, one of the few members of a band that I do know, it's from Limp Bizkit's lead singer Fred Durst, but that's about it. <laughs> That was a little side note, but no, I mean, I, I absolutely love Disturbed, love their music. Um, I don't know, I really got really got back into it um, not too long ago. You know, love their love their shit. To, uh, Lock back in high school. I'll override it. Got I got out of it. It was, it was during my uh, my relationship with my ex girlfriend. She wasn't a big fan. Don't touch me. I just want to help. Your wounds, they're self-inflicted? They can't. I can't go back. I won't. Oh. Hush now, sister. The cat are dead. 
They can't take you. We won't let them. You sound like him. So confident. So sure. You mean Axel? He saved me. Gave me a chance to live. And die on my own terms. We need to find him, Thordia. Ishare, brave one. Even in the end, she was devoted to him. And Axul's using that devotion to spread hate. The only other person who could reach him is the Moshai. I was hoping to keep her out of this. She's always had a blind spot when it comes to Axul. Come on, let's go. Alright, well, we gotta wait for Joel to set up a meeting. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, lead singer for Disturbed, phenomenal. Phenomenal vocalist. Uh, let's do his cover of Sound of Silence. Just... It's a great, a great cover. Um, I mean, I, I've... I've I'm, granted, I, I haven't seen him perform it live, but I've heard live performance of his, and still, damn, that guy's good. Uh, he's, just got, he's just got such a vocal range, and it's... Uh, ugh. Phenomenal. Yeah. No, I, was, uh, I was also saying, yeah, it's like, like I got, I really got out of listening to a lot of metal back in, uh, um, back in high school. Let's see, here, priority apps. You know what? Let's go. Let's let's hit let's hit Kadara. Why not? Let's let's go to a new planet. Um, but I mean, I, I was I was super big into. Um, those bands, my, my ex-girlfriend on the end of high school was getting me into Godsmack, which I, I still like, not, not as big a fan as I used to be as I was back in high school, but, uh, you know, she was that, and she wasn't a huge, big, uh, she didn't like Disturbed that much, so, you know, I kind of stopped listening to them, but, you know, now that we're, uh, now that we broke up, man, I'm just getting back in that music, and it was, oh, it's so fucking good. You know, that and I also picked up a... Love Limp Biscuit and you know, Slipknot. It's a lot of <laughs> like people like really like they see me. I'm just like some fat nerdy kid, you know, or that slightly overweight nerdy kid. <laughs> Try and be nicer to myself. I mean, you know, it, but people wouldn't expect me to be sitting there. Pathfinder. Um. Uh, looks like um. Subi wants to talk to us. Um. You know, people wouldn't expect me to be rocking out the metal and I just blast in my headphones and block everyone else's voices out. It's awesome. Pisses people off, too. Makes me laugh. <laughs> Fuckers. The swelling has gone down significantly and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the Lick Test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants, they achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me. And then lived out their lives while I slept. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. 
Thank you, Raider. I needed that. Anytime. You know, I'm just I'm I'm just gonna keep talking about music just because you know if I, yeah, I used to be a music student. I fucking love music. It's a huge part of you know been a huge part of my life and all that. And, you know, I love music, and this is this is something this is something that uh, that that people nowadays actually really do give me a lot of shit for. Um, somebody got me to watch what movie was it, it was uh, Eight Mile. Um, you know, and I and I you know if I finally finally watched that not too long ago and. Uh, that and I, I was picking it up. Uh, Approaching Geez, that it was that movie. For Nexus uh, and my limp biscuit, my limp biscuit. Um, Pandora radio. <laughs> that was uh, getting me listening to uh, Eminem. That's what it was. And you know, I gotta admit, used to hate rap. And I, I say used to because you know I started listening to him, Dr. Dre, and all that. You know, it's. Uh, eh. I'm 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 getting a newfound respect for it. You know, and I'm no, I don't know. <laughs> I've gotten shit from people, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? Actually, I, uh, yeah, Eminem, not bad. And people give me shit for that. I don't get why he's hated, but eh, whatever. I don't mind his stuff. But uh, eh. <laughs> I don't know. I have, I have really odd musical tastes. It's um, you know, like I like I don't like one genre entirely. Like there are bands within certain genres that I like, and sometimes there's like one song from bands that I that I Incoming really like. Um, Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy Venturev. Rendezvous at Crawler's song. Your contact's code name is Shayna. Shayna. Got it. Um, great example of that uh, about the one song that I really like from the band State Radio. Is a uh, man in the hall, great, great song. It's like the one that I actually like them, you know. Um, I mean, I mean, like I like that stuff. I uh, I really like jazz, you know. If you wanna, want a really good uh, kind of a pseudo funk band to go listen to, uh, here come the mummies, phenomenal, phenomenal jazz band. Um, there's also an old one I can't That's think of, of when they were. Texas um, stepped up their game since the revolt. I want to say they were from the 70s, a band called Chase. It was great jazz music. It's kind of like a jazz funk Not fusion. Well, I mean, funk is a type of jazz. You know, you know what I mean? Show for it. All I see is the trail of bodies they left behind. Our supplier's waiting. Come on, we're going to be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. nope. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, you know, love jazz, you know, got big into, uh, the ska, um, Straight Light Manifesto, Real Big Fish, bands like that, you know. We'll find a way. I, I yeah. Uh, like, I, I, I listen to a lot, a lot of music. Um, I don't know, go in the comments, guys, tell me, tell me what bands you like. Give me, give me suggestions. Always, always willing to hear about new bands to listen to. Piss off. You order, you pay. I said. You look like you're waiting for someone. I've got time for a drink. Shayna, but you can call me Reyes. I hate code names. I was expecting someone more than Garin. <laughs> the resistance pays me to supply information, among other things. So you're a smuggler? Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloan Kelly, leader of the outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloane? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. I like her already. Well, she doesn't like you. She's never met me. 
You work for the Initiative. Sloan was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. I'm taking him, with or without her permission. We're gonna be friends, you and I. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the Resistance. How do I contact you if things go south? That was cute. Hey, you gotta pay. Keep the change. Always do. Man, yeah, sorry. I, I just, I, I feel like I just went on some like, random tangent for like, the last ten minutes. I don't know. It's what happens when I when I love music too much, you know. So I start about talking about that. You know, Sam, tell me I about Sloan Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. Yeah. Either way, I'm just. And <laughs> you watch this channel long enough, you know what happens. So I just. Sometimes I'll just get on the topic and I'll just talk and I'll just be weird for a little bit. Just, just let it happen. Dick. Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? That's quite the throne. Should I bow? Kiss your ring. Very funny. So, what brings a pathfinder to our humble port? Venterev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've obviously got no love for the Ket. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Ven dead. And I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. Ven should be judged by the Resistance, not you. I don't have time for a morality debate. Dismissed. Your Highness. Huh. That's the first time I've left that without uh, getting a gun held on me. That could have gone better. Interesting. Perhaps Mr. Vidal had more success. Uh, God, it's, I, I think it's when if you don't tell her what to, you know, what your mission is, she just kicks you out. Guy pulls a gun on you, and you can, you know, snatch it out of his hand, point it back, you know, kind of hold it back on him. It's a funny little scene. Over here. Actually, I kind of like mine, the, what we just did, but Have better, a nice though. chat? I think she likes me. <laughs> Don't worry. I found a workaround. Let me guess. It comes with strings attached. Not any new ones. Remember, Ephra wants Ven alive, so when you get inside, give him this. That'll eat through whatever Sloan's holding him in, and it can't be traced back to us. A resistance agent will be waiting to pick Ven up. What if he makes a run for it? It's covered. You just focus on whatever it is you need from Ven. There's a maintenance shaft around the corner, sending the access code to your Omni tool. That'll get you inside. You should be able to handle the rest. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Literally, in Ven's case. When you're done, come to Tartarus. First round's on me. I promise. This appears to be the maintenance shaft Reyes mentioned. Looks like it leads to a stock room. Sam, anyone up there? No heat signatures detected. The room is clear to enter. <clears throat> what do you want? The Archon's ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloan's getting lazy. 
I'm not with Sloane. Afra sent me. Answer my questions and I can get you back to the Resistance. So I'm trading one cell for another? This is what happens when you make deals with the bad guy. Or stay here. Sloane's sharpening up a spike just for your head. Uh, I'd rather be miserable than cock and food. Which brings us back to the Archon's ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. This is your way out of here. A resistance contact will be waiting. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket, and still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands? I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... Uh, I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. Ephra still entrusted the Moshai to you, and you betrayed them both. I did what I thought was right. And I'll accept the consequences. Uh, uh, I can't see. The communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Vetra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. Alright everyone, you know what? I'm gonna call this one quits here. I got something I... I'm not actually sure how long this has been uh, before all the editing. But I have some stuff that I have to go take care of. Just some general stuff, whatever. I'm traveling tomorrow, so uh, I'm going to go take care of that. I just want to say thank you so much for watching, everybody. As always, you can find me over on Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com, all down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. But until then, I am AJ Gales. <clears throat> this is the Elmthar Gaming Channel. Jeez, my voice is cracking really bad right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm out.